Okay, in this video, I would like to show you how to solve this problem by using 2D modeling in Abacus. We are still trying to solve the same problem with the same uh, loadings, with the same model condition, and with the same uh, profile with the dimensions. Okay, let's go to the Abacus. So the first thing we have to create the path. So in this case, we have to create a 2D model. So choose 2D, deformable, and shell. And then I put the approximation size, which is 1000, which is equivalent to 1 meter, which is the length of our beam. Next, I just need to create a um, side, uh, side 2D beam. Okay, so just create a square rectangular. Okay, and then I just need to check the dimensions, the height of our beam. Okay, remember, just uh, total height here is. 100 so we put 100 millimeter enter and our length is 1000 which is equivalent to 1 meter so enter and then click and click done All right so we have our beam in 2d next step is to create a property we are still using the same uh, material which is steel and with this similar uh, property elastic property which is the basic properties which is uh, just need to put the yang modulus just to 100 e power 3 which is newton per millimeter square and the position ratio is 0 0.3 and click ok next step to create the section for 2d we have to choose uh, okay put the name first which is beam 2d and then category is solid and choose homogeneous just continue and then the material the steel that we create just now and here we need to put the equivalent thickness okay how to get this equivalent thickness so we have to go back to our problem okay in this case if we calculate the area moment of inertia okay which is i okay if you calculate this area moment of inertia for this i so the value is 2.8 667 times 10 power 6 millimeter power 4 so we need to uh, calculate or to determine the equivalent thickness of this one imagine this is our 2d okay so this is our 2d this is a front view so now it become like a rectangular okay so now we know the height is 100 similar to uh, our i beam but the b or the thickness is unknown we must have the same area moment of inertia Okay, so we know the I for I beam. So for rectangular, just using uh, by using the the equation area moment of inertia is BH power three divided divided by twelve. Okay, so H is known is one hundred. So we like to determine the B. So we obtain our B is equal to thirty four point four millimeter, which is the thickness of our shell element. So go back to Abacus. So the thickness is thirty four point four. So we put here the thickness is 34.4 which is the equivalent thickness in our case then okay so we let to assign the the section to our beam just click our beam okay so we use beam 2d solid homogeneous the material is steel okay the assignment the, the thickness is from the section that we create just now so just click okay so now the our beam already has the property Next, we go to assembly. So we just choose the part that we like to analyze, which is our part one. Okay, click independent for the meshing later on. Then, then okay. Next step to go, uh, we go to step to create the analysis type, which is we still using the static general. Okay, so just click continue and let uh, everything like a default setting. Then click okay. Next step is go to to create the loads and body conditions okay first we create the body condition first whereas in our case our beam has been fixed okay on the left side okay so we just need to create we choose symmetry okay continue and click this side okay the whole of this side are fixed okay so click done and then choose the last one where the all the deformation and rotational is equal to zero 
So choose this one and then click OK. Alright, for the load, okay, so in this case, we cannot use the line load anymore. As our surface here, top here, we not only have one line, now we already have the surface. Remember, we put the thickness. Okay, so we put the thickness, so now we have the surface. So instead of using line load, okay, or concentrated force, we can use pressure. Okay, how to calculate the pressure? Okay, go back to our problem. So, in this case, right, look on this part. From this distributed load, okay, we can get the resultant force, which is acting in the middle. Okay, so we know that the, the, uh, this, the, the resultant is equal to 100 times the length of the beam. So, our length is 1000. So, 100 times 1000 equal to 100,000 so newton. So, the resultant force is 1000, 100,000 newton. Okay, and then we know that the formula for pressure, pressure is the force divided by area. So this is our uh, top surface, okay, if you look from the, from the top, on this top, okay, from this top, the length of the beam is 1000, okay, the length here is 1000, and the width or the thickness that we have measured just now is 34.4, the equivalent B here, okay, the equivalent B here. So the top will be the same, which is 34.4. So now the top surface here has the area. Okay, so we can calculate this area, which is 1000 times 34.4. So F divided by this area, then we obtain the pressure is equal to, equivalent to 2.907 Newton per millimeter square. Okay, so we can use this value to apply to our a beam in um abacus so we choose pressure continue so on this top surface click ok and then the magnitude is uh, 2.907 and then click ok ok so it goes downward so we just need to change the direction so just double click this one put negative there sorry negative there then you will go upward okay all right so we just that one just a setting in abacus so, so you can put negative or positive as long as it goes uh, the direction that we want next step uh, we have created the loads and body conditions so next step is to create the uh, nodes and elements so in this case i just choose this one um okay you can put the global size of the machine in this case i would like to put uh, 20 uh, I cannot put very uh, small number or small size as this uh, abacus has limitation in terms of number of nodes. So you must be careful not to put very small size so that you want, it cannot be uh, analyzed later on. So I just put 20 just uh, try uh, by trying the 20 size is it uh, exceed the, the number of nodes or not. Just try. So I just put 20 then click OK. And then just click this one, mesh part instant, and just click yes. So we have create our elements. Next step is to assign the element type. So click this one and choose all this part. Click OK and then use the standard linear. And then we are using a quad. Okay. Uh, I just let the default setting here. And here you can check. Okay, it's plain stress or plain strain. So if you don't know, just let it default. Okay, just click OK. Right and done. Next step is to click the job. Okay, so I just right to click the job. For example, in this case, I put 2D beam. And then continue. Just let uh, continue with the default setting. OK. And then go to the file manager and then click the, the jobs name and then we submit the job for analysis. And then wait until the status change to completed. So now it's completed then we can see the results. And then click this one, the deform shape. Okay, change you want to um, displacement, just you, you two. Okay, so the here is the our answer, which is the maximum 
uh, displacement okay all right this is the way how to create the 2d modeling in abacus